I turned to artificial intelligence for analysis. I entered the following prompt. This small bone, approximately six inches long, was discovered alone in the depths of a cave in Colombia's Cundinamarca department. Interpret the bone and present a list of animals it might have belonged to. The bone's anatomy, a rounded joint head, elongated shaft and visible foramen, suggests it's a humerus or femur Based on its proportions, it's unlikely to be human, rodent, or reptilian, and it was almost certainly a limb bone used for movement or weight-bearing. Possibly a primate or canine native to the region. Its yellowed, desiccated surface points to considerable age and prolonged exposure to the dry cave conditions. Additionally, what makes this discovery remarkable is its isolation. No other bones or debris were found nearby. Such undamaged, solitary finds deep within caves are often linked to ritual or symbolic use rather than natural causes. Its deliberate placement, far from light or habitation, suggests it may have been left as an offering, charm, or ceremonial object. Given the location of the cave and the coloration of the bone, it's possible that it dates back to the younger Dryas at the end of the last ice age. Now, returning to the tiny clay pot, AI tells us that accurate dating would require thermal luminescence testing. What we do know is that the earliest pottery in South America appeared thousands of years after the Ice Age. The oldest examples come from Ecuador's Valdivia culture, about 5,600 to 4,600 years ago. So, while this tiny little vessel is unlikely to have been made during the Younger Dryas, its discovery in a Colombian cave is still extraordinary.